name is Gerald Martinez. I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico in an area that used to be known as the war zone of Albuquerque. Uh, it was pretty much a broken neighborhood, absolutely, without doubt. Broken people, prostitution, drugs, alcohol, bondage. And um, God told me uh, many, many years ago that, uh, that my life would be lived out according to His Word. And His Word said that Jesus came to save the broken people, to save the people that were hurting. He came for those that were in demonic depression and everything. You know, and he came to set us free. You know, and bottom line is that he first needed to set me free. I grew up a hippie up in the mountains here in New Mexico and uh, did a lot of stuff that no one would ever be proud of. And that began to give me a heart for broken people because all of my friends were broken and I saw death and I saw destruction and I saw pain and I, see, I saw suffering. And so, um, so that's been part of my journey is just to follow Jesus everywhere that he goes and do the things that he did. Bottom line is he came to save and, and, and to restore broken people. So I moved into this neighborhood 10 years ago. It was a pretty bad neighborhood, but uh, we fell in love with the people in this neighborhood. I think that that's really the bottom line when it comes down to it, is God calls us to be somewhat incarnational, or maybe he calls us to be extremely incarnational. And I, um, I believed that God's word was the final authority and the final truth. And he told me that I, if I was going to minister to the people in this neighborhood, I had to live with them. So we moved into some uh, broken down duplexes and began to rebuild them. And uh, set a, up a little church here in the neighborhood that's known as Joshua's Vineyard. We're part of the Vineyard System of Churches. And um, we have just been plowing the ground. We've been sowing the seed. We've been loving people. And God has shown up every time, over and over and over. A couple years ago, Hollywood got a hold of the of, of what we were doing, and and they came and they built us a house. You know, we were the New Mexico Extreme Home Makeover Edition family here in here in New Mexico. But you know, it's not about a house; it's about God transforming a neighborhood, and that was just part of the process. You know, He used Hollywood to. To, to give us a, a home to live in because I guess God figured we were going to be here for the rest of our life so he should set us up a little bit. When we moved in, the neighborhood was blocked off into section, sections. Uh, there were big steel barriers that were caging people in so that the police would know that if they chased you from this end where you would end up at this other end and they would block you in. Um, they, we had some of the worst criminals that, that, that were in the country. They, actually, they came from Cuba. Castro had kicked out all of the bad criminals from his prison system and they landed in this neighborhood along with prostitution, along with drugs, along with gang life, the whole entire thing. I've been beat up by the gangs. I've had my head cut open with beer bottles and been chased with center blocks and two by fours with nails in them. We've been robbed. We've been, you name it, you, you know, but hey, that's part of the battle between light and darkness. And, you know, I'm, I'm a testimony that, that God's love conquers and that God's light overcomes the darkness and it doesn't have a chance when it's God doing it mm -hmm. if it's just Gerald Martinez doing it I'd have lost a long time ago but I will testify that God is alive and well in what used to be known as the war zone of Albuquerque it's we're, we're a community there's 20 of us that live together and there's a church of a couple of hundred that that makes up Joshua's Vineyard we have a Spanish congregation of about a hundred people and and we're just in this neighborhood we're never gonna quit and you call you guys call yourself? What do you call yourself? We're the ghetto monks. <laughs> the ghetto monks. <laughs> I the, love that. We're the ghetto monks, and we believe that, that that getting close to Jesus and loving God first is is our principal quest in life, and then figuring out how to like like one another is our second one. You mm. know, <laughs> you know, it's an insane love. I, I mean, when someone is willing to die for you because he loves you, that's an insane love. How can you not pass that on? Mm. To hold on to it is utter selfishness. To give it away is utter selfishness because you get more back.